What's going on everybody? My name is Adam. Welcome to Sanctify Studios where I like to create and examine content with a sanctifying biblical view. I've been focusing heavily on reacting to Christian music lately because I really want to highlight those artists who are being intentional about creating sanctifying and biblical content. But I've also been doing interviews on my podcast, Sanctify Radio, and I'll be producing music out of this studio for things like my band, Classic Disaster, and other projects in the future. So if that's something that you're interested in, then you can do me a huge favor. You you can leave this video a thumbs up, you can hit the subscribe button, and you can hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos arrive. And go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know who you are and what bands you want to see on this page. With all that being said, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and check out this new song and new band, Colose, and their single, The Seduction of Influence. Now, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, Colose. Uh, one of the members of this band is also a member of Blood Lions, Danny Vitola, and I've been able to chat with him a little bit on the Christian Metal Facebook groups. You can find me here in the comment section at Sanctify Studios, and you can find me over in the comment sections of uh, Christian Rock and Metal Facebook groups quite frequently, actually. Um, can't I can't help but like comment, especially on like James Franchise's posts. He always likes to post some uh, some controversial questions and say, is it true or false? So it's always a fun time there in those comment sections. Uh, but Danny Vitola, yeah, is a member of Bloodlines and he's a member of this group, Colose. And so I'm really excited. I think it's going to be in that same vein of that heavy Christian rock, heavy Christian metal. Uh, so I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and check it out. This is The Seduction of Influence by Colose. Great guitar tone there, I like it. Ooh. Cleans here. Great bass tone there, I love it. Great screams. <laughs> we got a black. Go in the bridge. Got the whispers coming in. Ooh, got a little bit more building to do. Oh, oh, oh. 
Love what you did visually here too with the with the visualizer changing the colors. Ghost notes. Man, what what a song that was so so good. I love I love this like style of um, guitars and production where um, you've got the guitar that's going both in the left and the right. He did that a lot of times in the song. Um, you guys did that a lot where it was like, you know, dun, 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 panning left and right. I love that. Um, you know, we've got the ability to do that now with, with the way that we do production. And I think that it's so cool when bands just play around with that. I loved this ambient feel to the song. Um, it felt very like silent planet E, but the aggression was there in a different way. Um, and your scream was great. Your cleans were great. I love all these moments where it just kind of like holds you there for a beat and then is like, you know, just hits on the and a little bit more. Um, awesome moments within the song. I'm really excited actually to see what these uh, lyrics are talking about. Um, let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, cool. You guys can see that right now, right? Their Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Go give them a follow right now. And uh, Colossae is Danny Vitola, vocals, Matthew Buenavides, uh, guitar and clean vocals, and Eric Slider for drums. Awesome, jo awesome job with this song, you guys. Um, looking at these lyrics, there's a place where corruption takes the heart. It's filled with misery. It's filled with misery. Follow me down into the depths of the soul. There's nothing left but depravity. We emulate just to feel accepted. I want to talk about this verse here. Um, you know, the Bible talks about how we're supposed to guard our heart above all else because from it, it determines the course of our life. Other translations say it's the, it's the, the wellspring of our life. The things that come out of us are determined by our heart. And so um, it's really hard to do sometimes to guard your heart because already we're told in the Bible that our heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Um, these are, these are combating um, forces here where we're trying to guard our heart from becoming more and more corrupt, where our heart, our flesh, is already corrupt as it is. And so it's saying here, follow me down into the depths of the soul. There's nothing left but depravity. We emulate just to feel accepted. Like it is part of our nature. It's part of our heart's nature. It's part of our flesh to want to be accepted in the world around us and the people around us. And a lot of times the sin around us. And so we have to be careful not to allow that corruption to happen, not to allow um, the corruption to make us, to, to fill us with this misery and fill us with this depravity, um, which is already a really hard thing to do because our heart is already dealing with those things. So we go into this pre-chorus, aimlessly, we're devoted to the gods that we create aimlessly. Oof, it's true. It's true. Chorus, casting shadows in the dark, blinding idols, devoid of life. I feel the weight of a dying age, bowing down to lesser gods. I'll call you out to the light of day. Your illusions won't be the end of me. Love it. Love this chorus. Um, and just, just calling out the fact that, again, our heart naturally, our sin nature naturally wants to make idols out of things and idols out of people and idols out of the things of this world. And it makes us want to um, emulate those things or be like those things and be welcomed into the things that people like and want to emulate themselves. And so we aimlessly give ourselves to these things because it makes us feel good and it makes us feel welcome and it makes us feel um feel comfortable in our sin and comfortable in that corruption. But we have to be able to see the truth. The truth is that we're bowing down to lesser gods. These idols that we create are not greater than God is. These idols that we create are not who we're meant to worship. And so we have to be able to, like it says here, I'll call you out to the light of day and not allowing these illusions to be the end of us. We have to just do away with that that uh, sinful nature that we have to cling to those things and remind ourselves that there is a greater God that we're meant to worship. 
says here in verse two, quickened by the sound, bow down, bow down to the image of gold. Quickened by the sound, bow down, bow down. I will expose your wicked ways. Here lies the image of your false God. Woo! A declaration, right? A declaration to say that we're not going to allow these idols and these lesser gods and these things that we've clung to to corrupt us and to keep us from worshiping who we're supposed to. We go to the chorus again and then we go to that breakdown. There's a place where corruption reigns. There's nothing left but depravity. There's a place where corruption reigns. There's nothing left. Misery. Man, such a such a great song and great lyrics. You can sense you can sense that in the song too that there's this despair um, that we have to remember that as as believers, as followers of Christ, as people who have the Holy Spirit inside of us, and we're fighting between this influence of whether we listen to the Holy Spirit, we're listening to God, we're reading God's word, we're trying to be following that straight and narrow path. As we do that, we have to remember that we still have our flesh that we're fighting with, and we have our sinful nature, and we have these tendencies to want to make gods out of things that are in the world, and to make idols out of things that are in the world. And the thing is that they will try to seduce us, that the world will try to seduce you and make you uh, worship them and make you follow them because it feels comfortable. Everybody else is doing it. it. It's the norm. It's like, you know, you have to see the truth. You have to remind yourself of what the truth is, that the gods of this world, the things that people idolize here in this world, that maybe even people who are close to you idolize, the things that other people in the world care about, they're lesser gods. Don't be sedu seduced by them. Don't let yourself get caught up in worshiping lesser gods that are here on this earth. You have to remind yourself of the truth that it has to be brought out into the light. You need to not let these illusions of divinity that are in these things like, you know, whatever it may be, maybe it's money, maybe it's sports, maybe it's a family, maybe it's a person, maybe it's success and power and authority, whatever it may be for you that you are holding on to as as a god and an idol, you have to remember that those things are far lesser things than the calling that we have in Christ Jesus, than the than the the family that we have in Christ Jesus, the body of Christ that we're a part of. We have to remember that God has called us to worship Him and not these things of the world. So, I love this song. I love what you guys did with this. It sounds really really cool, guys. Go and check out. Let me bring that up again one more time. Go and check out Colosse on all of their social media accounts. It's really cool to see the, to see more and more bands talking about these topics and and doing it with music that is like super heavy and super cool. Again, the innovation of the panning uh, left and right guitars, all of the different you know hits that came through there, the, the dynamics of making it really soft and hard. Like I love it, you guys. Great job. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, then you can do me a huge favor. You can leave this video a thumbs up, you can hit the subscribe button, and you can hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos arrive. And go ahead and leave me a comment below. What did you think about today's video? What are your thoughts? And what do you want to see next on the channel? And if you want to support me and what I'm doing here, one of the best ways that you can do that is to support my band, Classic Disaster. We've got a lot of fun things planned for 2023, so go ahead, follow Classic Disaster, follow Sanctify Studios and go ahead and subscribe to the podcast Sanctify Radio. Till next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care.